much for serving uh, the shore today. We appreciate it. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Holly. I think I'll kill me. Um, we're going to do something a little different today since uh, Jerry put me in charge. Um, he and Joy are out, I think they're in Tennessee as we speak. But um, I'm going to start with the first scripture in Hebrews 10, 6. And it says, uh, God is not unjust. He will not forget your works and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help. Um, so what I kind of want to do is go around and I want everybody to um, introduce themselves. Tell us how you found the shore and um, where you're serving today. And then maybe like throw out one fun fact. I know that's a lot of things to remember. I can remind you. Um, <laughs> but I will start. My name is Holly. Um, I actually found the shore through a mailer in the mail. And then I gave a shout out on Facebook and just said, you know, I was kind of looking for a new home church. And two people, Pastor Don Nations and Courtney Metzler, both like instantly private messaged me and told me to come to the shore. So um, I did. And as soon as I walked in, the first sermon I heard, uh, I was like, I'm home. This is right where I want to be. Um, where, uh, a fun fact about me. Oh, I thought about this one. I was born in an elevator. Um, <laughs> no, I was born in, my mom literally just hilarious. by herself, like, I was born in an elevator. Um, and today I'm not serving for the 915 service, so if anybody needs to fill in anywhere, I'm available. But for the 1130, I'm doing a welcome center. And I'm going to pass it to Kevin. I'm Kevin Mingoy. I found the shore through Bob. We didn't play flag football together. He invited me two Easter's ago, and I came and it's down home here. Um, fun fact about myself, I'm going to Japan on the 25th for 36 days for reserve duty. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I do that every year, so it's fun. Every fiscal year. That's so cool. I'm Rob. Um, I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm doing something. <laughs> um, but uh, I've been going to shore here for about two years now. Uh, got found, uh, started playing softball with some of the guys that go here. So that's how I ended up coming here. And uh, fun fact about me, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to pick one. So <laughs> You're just a funny fact. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm Mallory Rogers, I'm TJ's sister. How I found the shore. So it's a pretty easy one. <laughs> um, I don't know, fun fact. Oh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm doing front door greeter today, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you don't know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and fun fact, oh gosh. I don't know. I was born in the Keys. Oh, that's cool. In an elevator? Not in an elevator. Oh. I was in a hospital, but <laughs> yeah. I was in, I don't know in the Keys. I know, right? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably like a one story hospital. So. <laughs> um, I'm Ms. Graber. I've been coming here um, two years, almost two years. And how did I find a show? I don't really know. I was looking for a church, and um, different of my friends kept putting on Facebook that they come here, so I said, okay, I'll try it out, and came one time and was hooked. And fun fact about me, I have <laughs> There's too many. Um, I'm a demo hygienist. That's my fun fact. <laughs> um, I went back to school and get my degrees when I turned 41. That's awesome. Really? Awesome. Where are you serving today, Chris? I am the sermon notes. Very good. Um, I'm Jenica, and uh, the way that I found the shore is because my brother is pastor. And, uh, and today I am serving, I'm pretty sure, inside or at the door. So I'll just do both. Check You're actually not serving. Either. Oh, am I not? <laughs> I love how you do this. You show on top Always, of the week. You're not every serving. Time. <laughs> Whatever. I'll still do it. A fun fact is I have an obsession for tea. I have a huge, a very large tea stock in my house, and I love tea. Tea, no tea. Well, I like my tea. <laughs> no, I need them. <laughs> but, but tea, yes. Tea. My name's Annalisa Mast, and. I came to the shore through Chris. Um, I guess the connect group for what's happening here, though. I am serving hospitality today, and a fun fact is I am an avid sci fi reader. Woo! Uh, the Star Wars trailer just came out yesterday. I saw it. She's so, she's so great. <laughs> I can't wait. Star Wars, Christmas, Star Trek. I'm going to get an extra gift on Christmas. Star Wars. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. I'm Gregory Morgan, aka Goody. 
and uh, we came to the shore through my son and daughter-in-law, Alex and Jordan Morgan. And um, we, we set up the camp day, my husband and I set up the camp day once a month. And fun fact about me, I guess, is I learned how to swim eight years ago. Never learned, I, I was petrified of swimming, so I learned how to swim eight years ago. Recover balls. Yep, from the <laughs> For what? Throw in a fun fact about yourself. A fun fact about myself. I'm married to this lady. Okay. Oh. 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 I'm done. Okay. <laughs> but I'm Crystal Zamet, and I'm Joya's mother. That's why I found the church, Joya and Jared, and my grandson, Jared and Josiah. And uh, my fun fact is I love babies, so I started the grandma ministry, but there's no none here, so I need to bring them on, bring more babies. <laughs> my name's Lori Pinard. I found out about the shore for my daughter. Back in September of 2012, I started coming, and I love it. And I'm serving in sermon notes today, and a fun fact is I never thought I would be in Florida. I, I always said I would never live here, and I'm here. <laughs> so that is good. My name is Sean. I've been coming to the shore for about a year and a half. I found the shore through a friend on Instagram. Uh, fun fact about me, I was born in Hawaii. Aloha. All right, so as you see, there's thousands of ways that people can find the shore. And through that, we also are here to help people feel comfortable and welcome. Uh, we meet needs as we see them, and we help people to uh, more or less find the freedom that we have found, and also hopefully turning that around and letting them and having them serve also um, the shore and the church as a whole. Um, so as you all know, and we say it every week, just continue to love on people and smile. Uh, you never know that uh, what your smile might even do. You know, we can witness more with just um, our actions than even with words. So, um, and I also want to mention Day of Hope, big, big event for us, and we need everybody to be there. Uh, we need lots of leaders. We need just, I mean, even if you don't have a position to show up, we'll fill you in somewhere. Um, and then I want to uh, end with Isaiah 5810. Um, for the hungry, wait, sorry, back up. Feed the hungry and help those in trouble. Then your light will shine out of the darkness, and the darkness around you will be as bright as the noon. So through the shore, I think that we can help shine some brightness here in Sarasota too, and uh, in our homes and in our work and um, just even in our own hearts. So with that, any prayer requests for the day? Anybody? Anybody have any um, prayer like... Uh, Yep, thank you. Okay. <laughs> you knew my sign language? Yeah. Praise for I think we're excited to see Crystal's back doing really well. You're looking beautiful. You're looking very good. Yes. Yes, you look great. You do you have a prayer request? You look like I'm answering prayer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You look great. Um, oh according to the idea of a fun fact. Yay! That's the time. <laughs> Courtney, a fun fact about you? How'd you, how'd you find the short? How did I find the short? This one? Right here. Okay. Do you have any fun facts about you? Fun facts. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. You just started a new job? I just started a new job, yeah. I, yeah. This was my first week, so during the second week I'm gonna be traveling a lot, so definitely prayers for safe travels. I am um, working for a beer company. Yeah. Fun fact. Also yeah. <laughs> Safe travels for Courtney and her new venture. We also have Joya and Jared are out and they'll be traveling home here sooner than later. I think they come home maybe Tuesday-ish. Oh, go ahead, yes. Uh, Day of Hope, we've been getting a lot of our supplies through, we thought we were getting supplies through Henry Shine. Yeah. But um, the, the, the rep that works for my, works, that we work through, um, is his name is Matt, and he's coming here. He's, he's gonna coming. come. Oh, I don't know that he's a Christian, so he's gonna come the day of, or he's planning on it, and I just want everybody to pray for him. I don't know if he's a Christian. And just that um, that he would receive God in us, and that it would really speak to his heart. He's a really, so, really good guy. He's a really good guy, oh, yes. Great. So I just want to pray for Matt, that, that God starts talking to his heart. Awesome. Absolutely. And we get the supplies we need that we're just too. told that we aren't getting.
Oh, we'll get above and beyond. Okay. We well, I do, the, the company that supplied it last year said they can't supply it this year, and I just got that email last week, so now I'm like, Shh. so we're we're trying to pull some strings, but we just need, we've got to bring it all together. Amen. All right. Uh, anybody want to pray? Anybody feel led to pray? Sean, how about you? Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you with a heart of gratitude, Lord. We thank you so much for um, giving us the health and for giving us uh, strong minds and bodies to be able to serve you and your church. Lord, we pray that um, today with our open hearts and our open doors and our open minds, we can welcome people into the shore and uh, make them feel comfortable. Lord, open our eyes. If there are needs that are uh, to be met, Lord, you would give us the discernment to see them and that we would serve them and follow through. Lord, I want to just lift up Kevin to you as he gets excited to go to uh, Japan. We pray for safe travels for him and keeping him safe and bringing him home with um, great experience. Lord, we lift up the day of hope to you. That is a day that you have called and we know that you're going to foot the bill for that too. Lord, we know that you're going to provide the people, the leaders, the resources, and you're going to give us above and beyond what we could ever ask or think or dream, uh, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Lord, we uh, lift up Matt. We pray that you will um, start to work in his heart and you would start to soften him so that uh, when he does come for Day of Hope, that he would be more open to what your grace has to offer. Lord, um, we lift up also Courtney as she starts her new job and uh, starts to travel more. We pray for you to just continue to protect her. You put a hedge of protection around her, that you give her the confidence she needs to be the best employee that she can be. Lord, we also, uh, we thank you so much for Crystal and her great health. You brought her fully around and even maybe even better off than she was before, Lord. We thank you so much. Um, we uh, lift up uh, TJ and the service to you. We pray that you will... Um, Open people's hearts so that they can hear the word, open their ears, and um, we uh, also pray for Joya and Jared and Josiah as they um, finish up their vacation and they come home and we can all get ready for uh, the GROW Conference in Alabama. We love you, Lord. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks. That was really long. Sorry, guys.